There are three simple rules to life. Don't take those who love you for granted. Be loyal and enjoy all the foods. At least those are Tommy's rules anyway. Tommy is a 10-ish year old schnauzer, poodle, and Pomeranian mix, and he's a rescued stray from Texas. And I know everybody watching this video is gonna wanna take him home, but he already has a forever home. I had the pleasure of meeting Tommy at a local fundraiser for Niagara Dog Rescue. And when his humans asked if Tommy could be on my channel, I couldn't resist his adorable little face. So today, Tommy will help me to explain how we can reduce the rescue population. There are so many dogs in rescues and shelters across the globe that are waiting for a forever home. It's become a huge problem to which there seems no end. So what is the solution to the problem? There are two main reasons for homeless pets, which are not spaying and neutering, or being a responsible pet owner, as well as backyard breeding. Spaying and neutering has become a controversial topic because more recently, we've learned that hormones help in the physical development of the body, and removing these hormones too young could lead to health problems. While I do understand this, the problem is that many people are irresponsible with their pets, allowing them to roam free and live closely with other pets, inevitably leading to puppies or kittens. So the moral of the story is, if you cannot be responsible with your intact pet, please spay and neuter to avoid unwanted litters. And now we have the topic of backyard breeding. Backyard breeding is a term used to refer to those who breed their pets irresponsibly, either to experience the birth of puppies or kittens, or for money. This is not to get confused with responsible breeders, because despite what you may believe, they do exist. The difference between backyard breeding and responsible breeding is a very long list, but I'll try to keep it short. Responsible breeders often breed to preserve the genes of their breed of choice and to continue trying to produce the healthiest, well-tempered, and structurally appropriate dog or cat. This is more of a hobby as opposed to a job, and the goal isn't to make a lot of money. In fact, responsible breeders invest so much in their dogs via food, training, grooming, health testing, vet care, and the list goes on, that the price they charge for their puppies are generally just enough to cover their costs. They only choose the healthiest, mentally sound, and properly structured parents to reproduce to ensure that their offspring has the best chance at a long and healthy life. They also require new owners to pass a lengthy questionnaire to make sure that they can provide the best home for their puppies or kittens and they are required to sign a contract with two important clauses. Clause number one, you cannot breed your pet. Clause number two, if you cannot keep your pet, you must inform the breeder so they can take the animal back and or provide it with a new home. These clauses are to protect the animals from ending up in shelters or becoming strays. These breeders are not responsible for the influx of unwanted pets. Backyard breeders do none of the above. They provide no health testing, often producing animals with genetic health issues or disabilities. They are mostly in it for the money, investing very little in their pets, and they are not there to provide support in the event that you can't keep your pet anymore, which oftentimes is likely, considering they regularly breed animals with behavioral issues, leading to offspring with behavioral issues that many people struggle to manage. Backyard breeders are the number one cause of shelter pets, and as long as people continue supporting them by purchasing their puppies or kittens, they will continue to support the ever-growing population of rescue animals. So my point is this. Adoption is great. You will save a life, and in return, offer space for another animal to be rescued. But please understand that rescue and responsible breeding go hand in hand and they can work together collectively to reduce the number of shelter animals. So please make sure to adopt or shop responsibly. Tommy was a great advocate today for rescue dogs, showing how sweet and adorable they can be. I sprayed him down in pumpkin pie cologne, 
and this adorable guy with the pants is all finished. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tender Tommy.